He is ready to go into his new home. This is one of the most beautiful veiled chameleons that I have ever seen. I know you're mad. I don't know why we took you. Oh. There you go. Come on. Get in your new home. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't been posting so much lately. I've just been really busy. We have a lot of really cool stuff happening. If you guys are new to the channel, well, welcome. You guys are going to be meeting Piper for the first time. Piper, I keep updating on her size and how she's doing we got her a little while ago she's almost six months old now she is just doing great she's a golden retriever puppy that we got from Minneapolis traveled all the way there did a vlog on that a while ago and you guys can follow that journey if you check out that video but obviously you can see she's doing great she was looking a little thin before and some of my other videos she had a hard time keeping weight. I mean, my mom has a dog company called Live Positively right here. You guys can check out that website. We feed her plenty of food, I guarantee you. Obviously, we're not gonna get a dog and just, and, and not take care of her. She is actually like the treat tester. And <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, girl? She, she is actually the treat tester for all of my mom's products. She loves it all and she is just doing great. She's filling out really well. She's getting her long hair in, and I just can't wait to see when she gets full grown. What do you, what do you got there? What do you got? Hold on. She's got something for us. Is that a palm frond? She loves her palm fronds. She loves chewing them, and she just gets so happy with it. Look at that tail going. That tail is the tail of a happy dog. Now guys, today's video is not about golden retrievers. Obviously, you guys came to see some chameleons. Chandler and I went and caught some chameleons the other night, but before I show you that, I wanna show you another invasive species. A couple nights ago, while not posting, I caught a really nice invasive Burmese python, so we're gonna roll that clip right now. Guys, we're out here, look at that behind me. Big, beautiful Burmese python. We're gonna go here. We're just gonna grab it right behind the head, just like that. Beautiful Burmese python. Woohoo! He's about, I don't know, maybe seven foot, seven foot snake. Awesome. How cool was that, guys? Yeah, big Burmese python just there crossing the road, happened to come across it and be able to take it out of the Everglades. Now, like I said before, this video is about chameleons. We have some invasive chameleons down here in Florida, which I've done some videos on before. Should probably do some new videos on in the near future. It is getting really cold here in Miami, so those chameleons kind of need our help. Number one, they shouldn't be in our environment. And number two, they're freezing out there. So we need to get them, catch them, bring them here, and Pipers. What are you doing over there? Piper, you're a little loud. While we're recording, you're just a little loud. We can play with it after. But anyway, guys, let's go and check out the chameleons that we caught last night. So I have the box here that has the big chameleon from last night. We're gonna open it up. He should be all lit up with color. I haven't looked at him yet. Let's see here. Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Look at that. Now he's not as beautiful. Oh, he's showing his showing his teeth at me. Let me get him out for a second. All right, so I'm trying to grab him, but he's really angry. Hey, it's okay. I don't want to stress you out, buddy. Look at that. Look how amazing those colors are, guys. Check that out. You see his eyes looking. They can look in two different directions, but that beautiful color there. Wow, he's just gorgeous. Come here. Hey, don't, don't be trying to get me. I'm just trying to help you. We're going to set you up with a new home. We're going to have to... All right, hey, it's okay. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. Look, 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 look. Sometimes you just gotta go under him. If I sneak under him, he might not see me. Like this. And that seems to be the best approach. Come here. I'll just bring this whole thing out of here. Come on. Come on, don't you get, don't lose your colors now. Wow. Look at that. All right, we've got him out. Check out that little beauty. Now, I don't know what happened to his lip. It looks like he got kind of flipped inside out. What happened to your lip, buddy? Let's try to fix it. 
Oh my gosh, this is one of the most beautiful veiled chameleons that I have ever seen. Look at the detail and the colors. So I've managed to fix his lip. His tail is still wrapped around here pretty tight, but wow guys, this is a true specimen. To be able to find this out here in Florida, it's just breathtaking when you admire these colors and this guy is going to get a beautiful new home. Now guys, I want you to comment down below right now a name for this huge veiled chameleon male. He's a boy, so let's come up with some good names for him. I know you're mad. I know you're mad. I don't know why we took you. Oh, you almost got me there. I don't need to put him too close to my face. He's really looking in my eyes. Check out how intense his stare is. He's looking over there at the camera and with his other eye, he's looking at me. He can turn them in different directions at the same time, but I just cannot get over how beautiful this guy is. It's totally insane. My mom's pulling up right now. Let me show her. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Look at, what do you think? It's pretty. My mom doesn't seem to be as thrilled about this guy as I am. But anyway, guys, yes, comment down below a name for him. And now let me show you the other guy that we took out of there. We also took a female, but I gave her to one of my friends. So we only have these two males here that are going to be getting new homes. Let's go get that little guy now. All right, guys, we're back. Now check out this little stunner. Now he's kind of dull right now, but hopefully by the end of the episode I'll keep him in a dark bin. He might go to sleep and turn those brighter colors. He might even do it here on camera in front of us. He seems to be getting those brighter yellows. Now as he gets older he'll get more and more beautiful. Those colors will keep adapting. When they start out, when they're babies, they're going to be all green. And then as they get older the males will develop more colors. The females kind of get some too, but they will get nowhere near as beautiful as the males. These guys just get these crazy yellows and blues. The females st tend to stay more green. When they get dark, they can get these yellow markings on them and these bluish colored markings that are really beautiful. But the main way that you can tell the difference of a male chameleon is that huge crest that you saw in the last one. This guy, that's about as big as a female's crest would get. And a female typically only gets to be about this size, which as you guys can see, is much smaller than the big male that we just had out before. Now it looks like he's starting to get a little lighter. But guys, again, comment down below a name for our new friend here. Our new little buddy came straight out of the wild of Florida. So many invasive species here. And actually I need to update you guys on another invasive that we caught, a big red tail boa. She's right over here and you guys haven't seen her in a while. So let's go see her right now. And here she is. Now, would you look at that beautiful red tail boa? Crazy to catch one of these in the wild of Florida. Now, this was not a release pet. They have an actual population out here in South Florida. You can see us catching babies on the channel and you can see me removing her from someone's car. Now, she is doing great. She doesn't even look that big in this cage. She's about eight feet long. But I can tell you guys that she's eating really, really well. At first, she was a little bit of a problem. She wasn't really eating the rats that the rats would kind of crawl around. She didn't really care for them. Now, any rat we put in there, she takes it right down. But guys, our video isn't about her. It's actually about setting up a new home. Now behind me guys are two cages, one here and one right over there that I built myself. They're screen cages. If you guys want to know more about the build, I can tell you guys about it in another video. But Anyway, they're emptied out. We cleaned them out and they are ready for our new little friends. We're gonna pick those names of those guys in the next video, so that will be very, very fun. Actually, in the next video tomorrow, I'm going to be introducing Piper to another lion at the zoo, which will be really cool. But as you guys can see, I've kind of started with the setup. I've put some fake plants back here. I put some fake plants over there. The same thing in this one here. I've kind of set it up with some plants on the back wall rocks on the bottom, there's screen under there, there's screen on the top, but these guys are going to be living outside primarily. Keeping chameleons outside in South Florida is 
basically one of the easiest ways to keep them when it rains it comes right in they drink moving water typically so keeping that moving water and a drip system is kind of hard but here I can just spray them with a hose or spray them with my little sprayer and not have to worry about getting anything inside messy it's just one of the easiest ways to keep them and I get to take them out of the wild and put them here so everybody's kind of happy they have a big home they get fed all the time and Basically, they live stress-free without harming our native wildlife. So what we have to do next is take these cages and turn them into the forever homes of these chameleons. Now, what they're gonna need is some more fake plants. We wanna fill up this entire area with places to climb, places to hide, places they can go and bask. We have all of these amazing fake plants from Walmart and the dollar store. Now, we did have some plants for that red tail boa. If you guys saw that video originally, she kind of messed them all up. So I took them out and those are gonna be used for these chameleon setups. So let's hop right into it and see what we gotta do to finish these cages. So the camera is now on a tripod, guys. I am by myself today, so that kind of stinks. I don't have Jacob filming for me or my sister or anybody. But anyway, guys, we have all the plants here. We're gonna get started. It's not anything crazy. We're gonna take this plant here, and I'm thinking we'll put it just there, maybe back here. Right back there in that corner. I'll get some better angles, like I said, so you guys can see more of what's going on in a second. The next thing we have is this big guy here. Now, I've stuck some plants into this cracked off piece where it kind of broke. Makes it look a little more natural. Now, chameleons don't really like thick branches like this. They like thin branches that they can get their whole hand around. You'll see in a second when I get them in, when they climb, they like these real thin branches they can get their whole hand around this. They can't really get as good of a grip on it, but this will be a good area that they can kind of come down, you know, maybe get some collecting water in a dish on the bottom, maybe come down and get some crickets. The crickets can crawl up this. It'll just be a nice little feature. So we're gonna put that just back there, set it in those rocks. Kind of want it to be coming out of something. So maybe, maybe something like that. The next thing we're gonna add are some of these little guys. We're gonna wash them off here. Got some water there. These guys just look really natural. I like using really natural looking fake plants. There are some that look too fake, but these ones for the most part look like they're real. And I'm not too worried about the chameleons ingesting any plastics or anything like that. I've kept them like this before. I haven't had any problem with it, especially with the full grown ones. So these should be just fine. We're gonna stick these basically anywhere we want. So basically this is what we've got so far. We've added these up in here. We've added these down here, this branch, this one in the corner. Already had some of those fake ones in the back as you guys saw, but it's looking pretty good as of right now. Now I'm gonna want some more sticks that go from the base all the way to the top areas to climb up in here because all of this is empty space that can be used. The next plant we're gonna add is this big fern. I love these because they take up some ground coverage. They're an easy place for crickets to hide. They're an easy place for the chameleon to hide. When I dump a bunch of crickets in there, I don't want him to eat every single one. I'd like for it to last a little while that he can really hunt like he's in the wild. So giving the prey items a place to hide is important for me too. We're gonna put this just back here and there we go that's looking pretty good to me so far I like these thin grasses now they're not much but they just accent the tank a little bit I keep saying tank cage whatever you guys want to call it now like I said we did set up a really nice enclosure for the red tail boa before I kind of expected it to you know push around some of that stuff and it really just looked like a mess when it wasn't perfectly made. So I decided to take those plants out, but the chameleons won't really mess up the tank like that. They'll keep it looking pretty much like this for a while. Maybe some things will get knocked around here and there, but it should be all right. I just went around my front yard and collected some of these big sticks. There's some nice ones here with some little branches coming off of it. These will be perfect to put in. So I'm gonna put the rest of these down. So I think I like the stick there, but what we have to remember with this is this is supposed to handle 
the full weight of a chameleon without falling. I mean, if it fell, it probably wouldn't hurt itself too bad, but we do have to make sure that it's not gonna move. This can move a little bit, but it's pretty much locked in place down there. So that is looking pretty good. So after looking at that brown stick, it looked a little dead for this green lush environment. So what I decided to do was go in here and wrap a golden pothos leaf that will hopefully graft towards the bottom and the rocks and the little bits of dirt that are in there. And then I also put this fake plant in here, just tucked in the stick and wrapped around there so it looks very natural. Now I'm thinking we're about done with this cage. Let's move on to this one. And would you look at that now, both cages are complete. This one, I put these two orchids here, this other flower, whatever that is. I don't know what type of flower that is, but it looks nice. Put these two sticks here, this little vine hanging down from here. It's looking pretty good. Got these sticks coming out. I might add some more stuff in the future, but as far as the plants go, that is looking really nice. So with both cages set up, let's go get our chameleons. So in this cage right here, we're gonna get this guy. Again, he's not the brightest colors and we're probably gonna have to put some heat on them overnight because it is pretty cold at night. Those temperatures drop to like around the 60s. And these guys have been living in the wild for many years here in Florida, so they have been able to keep up with it. But just because they can be pushed to their limits doesn't mean we're gonna push them to their limits here. We're gonna get this guy set up he is ready to go into his new home. We're gonna put him right up here on this branch. And he's probably gonna dip down right in those leaves for some cover to feel safe. Hopefully he turns some bright colors to try to blend in. Look at that, guys. He's hiding right there. He's checking it out. What do you think? He is all ready to go, so we're gonna shut him in just like this. Got our little doors here with these little latches. Just put the pin like that and he's good. Now let's get the big one. Now guys, this is the same chameleon. Look how beautiful he was. He was just sleeping so he's his bright colors. Look at that. I'm gonna darken it just a little bit. Look at those amazing colors. Same chameleon as earlier. His head seems to be a lot brighter. He's more blue and yellow striking at me. He's ready to go into his new home. Hey, it's okay. Can you guys hear that hissing? Now he doesn't really want to bite me. He won't lunge out so much. But guys, take a look at that. It's all right, big boy. Remember to comment down a name for these guys because we need a name for them as they go into their new homes. We're gonna put them in. Wow, he is stunning. One of the most beautiful chameleons I've ever seen. You can see his tail's all wrapped up there. Just an incredible animal. All right, there you go, come on. Get in your new home. There you go, come on. Look how massive he is. I swear this is one of the most beautiful chameleons I've ever caught. I'm actually gonna just let go there and let him get comfortable. Now guys, in the next video, you will be updated on just how they're doing. We don't wanna make them too mad. We're probably gonna tuck them back here in these bushes. It's a little dark behind me when it's focused on my face, but anyway. The next video will be picking the names and showing just how they're doing. So you guys aren't gonna wanna miss that. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and watch some of the other videos on the channel. And we will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.